Assalamualaikum Hi everybody In this video I'm going to talk about the design Specification And block diagram Of my CDI module Especially The single channel CDI But before I continue I'm going to talk about The uh, ignition system In general Okay Let's just start. Here we can see um, typical 12 volt ignition system. Here we have ignition coil. The uh, positive terminal is normally connected to the uh, 12 volt battery or um, ignition on key. And then the uh, negative terminal of the uh, ignition coil is connected to a switching unit and this switching unit uh, can be mechanical or electronic and now um, here you can see my CDI block diagram Um, this CDI module consists of um, three main um, parts. The first part is um, the uh, charging circuit. The second part is the uh, capacitor. And the uh, third part is the uh, switching unit. The first part, um, charge is used to charge the uh, capacitor and this is a um, step up uh, transformer it converts um, electricity from 12 volt to around 450 volts and the uh, electric charge um, is stored at the uh, capacitor okay I use one microfarad capacitor and then the uh, charge from capacitor um, is uh, transferred to the uh, ignition coil via switching unit and on my CDI module, I switch the uh, positive part of the uh, ignition coil and the uh, negative terminal is connected directly to the uh, um, ground. Okay, and now I want to show you the uh, Ignition signal. Here we can see the uh, um, how you call it um, switching uh, pattern of this um, typical ignition system. If the uh, switch is closed, the uh, coil um, will be charged, okay, with 12 volt. And then at the time uh, the switch is open, we will get the uh, spark at the uh, uh, spark plug okay so this is the uh, charging uh, charging part and then this one is the uh, discharging part we will get um, spark at the spark plug and then the next uh, charging part is here and then uh, if the uh, switch is open 
we will get also a spark here. Okay. The uh, if the switch is closed, the uh, coil will be powered, and the uh, magnetic field will build up. I mean the uh, um, energy will be stored in elect uh, in magnetic field, okay. And if the uh, switch is open, the uh, magnetic field um, will collapse, and um, the ignition coil will output the uh, high voltage. Okay, and then. We have another type of uh, um, charging signal. At the uh, typical ignition coil, ignition, ignition system, we have 12 volt, and um, with this uh, CDI system, we will have 450 volt. Okay? Here you can see that the uh, charging time is very, very short because of the uh, voltage is, uh, the voltage is much higher than the uh, 12 volt. That's why we only need uh, very little time to uh, charge the ignition coil so it, it is almost uh, instantly okay so um, my CDI module can um, can fire at this position or at this position it depends on the uh, setting of the uh, jumper okay normally uh, we want to have spark at this uh, point, okay? So, again, this is the uh, typical 12 volt um, ignition system, and this is the uh, CDI system, okay? Here we can see that the uh, typical ignition system needs uh, longer time to uh, charge the ignition coil and um, it makes also the uh, ignition coil um, gets hot so with the uh, shorter charging time we will not have that problem Okay, now I have here a list of what I'm going to talk about. First, the design. My design is a uh, environmental friendly it means it is serviceable and can be easily repaired by a person with basic electronic knowledge okay I'm going to open this casing and show you what I'm, I'm talking about Okay. Here we can see clearly 
all the uh, components and if something is broken we can check everything to find the, uh, the faulty part okay um, I'm going to show you the other PCB this is the uh, single channel PCB here we can see uh, all the uh, um, part number and value this is the uh, two channel CDI same thing everything is very easy to follow and this is the uh, three and four channel PCB okay and I put no epoxy casting or potting to this um, module so um, I do this uh, intentionally so that the uh, this uh, module is always serviceable okay and I have no plant obsolescence obsolescence design in this um, module okay also maybe you can see that uh, the box is not uh, completely sealed this is for avoiding water condensation inside the box so if you can see this I'm going to close this and you can see that uh, it is not sealed you can see the uh, there is some room here okay now let's go to the uh, specification The uh, capacitor voltage is 450 volts. This is the uh, capacitor. Okay. The uh, charging circuit is a high frequency um, charging uh, circuit. The uh, Working frequency is uh, above 100 kilohertz. This is the uh, transformer, high frequency transformer to charge the uh, capacitor. And the uh, input supply is from 10 to 18 volts. So, uh, this module uh, has wide range of input supply and the uh, maximum firing frequency that I have tested is uh, around 300 Hertz on four cylinder engine it is equal to 9000 rpm okay and it supports 
uh, many different trigger signals and it can be set using jumpers I will show you the jumper these are two jumpers turn on the light ah, okay you can see this one is trigger type and this one is mode okay let's move on the uh, trigger type This module can read um, different uh, trigger signals. First is the uh, contact point. Uh, second is the reluctor or magnetic sensor. And third is the uh, optical sensor. Fourth is hall sensor fifth is the uh, signal from ECU or engine control unit um, sixth is the uh, ICM ignition control module and seven is TCI or transistor controlled ignition okay again I'll show you the uh, CDI from the inside. These are the uh, transistors for driving the uh, um, transformer, high frequency transformer. And these are the uh, transistors to ignite the uh, um, ignition coil or to power the ignition coil. Okay. Again, CDI single channel. Okay, I think uh, that's enough for now. Um, I hope you like it. Thank you for watching and until next video, bye-bye.